Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum, Fajul again. In this video or the next video, uh, I will show how can we open the bing.com and input some keywords on the text box and press search so that it will do a searching and everything will be handled from our code. So let's get started. First, let's create a new file. We can name it as being search.js. And as usual, we'll start with requiring our favorite puppeteer. And okay. Next, we will create a synchronous function. Function and name it as uh, search okay and we will execute that search function over here easy now I will do a more formatted and clear code so that you understand it as the thing is intuitive so let's use option over here and I will create height and we can see its height is 1600 width maybe sorry height is 1200 width is maybe 1600 and it is we, we already have a property in our previous file that was the headless you can see Sorry, I messed up everything. Headless, false. Okay. And we'll create a wait. Mr. Puppeteer, please launch with option. And Mr. Puppeteer will return us what? the browser so we'll create the browser just for checking uh, with the options what were the options no not this launch okay options that the uh, and dev tools slow -mo. yeah we can use that slow mo is true movement will be quite slower than the as usual and the page and the browser there are differences between them the page is a part of the browser we want to expand the browser as well so how can we do that we can just create two variable height and width and pass them to the browser when it is launched so let's create the height equals to suppose 1040 and suppose the width equals to 1600 and we are we we are we will pass this variable to as a arguments where is the args come from you can see there is name the args additional arguments to pass the browser instance the list of chromium flags can be found here for more info you can just dig down over here and see for our case we are searching for the width and height so there are four occurrences two three four so you can see how it is goes over here just will arcs and it is an array and it will take this type of parameter quite weird but how this is how it is window hyphen size equals to what can we put here the height and the width so first the width width and it is required this one width and we will have a comma over here and we also again have this one 
and we have the height okay so we have passed the height and width to the main browser instance not the page and in this code the browser opened up and we'll open a new page from the browser so await browser dot new page new page doesn't take any parameter but it returns a page so let's um, for page equals to this one and after that we will set the viewport viewport is the inner thing of the page how can i get the viewport let's show you the page page has some properties over here and the methods there's a term i already searched that that's why i know already so here is a viewport viewport takes and blah 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 everything everything you, you will search by yourself so page dot set viewport what does the viewport takes an object of the viewport so how can i know that the object let's show let's see here you can see the viewport takes the width and the height as well so let's just create a viewport over here and we will add the width and this width is the above width height is the above height we'll just select set the vp over here and as usual it is asynchronous we'll create the await so far so good the page is created now we want to open the site so mr page please go to where why it is ping you may ask this is no love for the ping actually the problem is uh, when i do repetitive running on the google.com it blocks me that's why i use the ping <laughs> no no racism over here please go to mr ping and there are a couple of other methods over here you can see for example uh, i want to wait for a thousand two minute or two second to do that just i have to do the wait there are a couple of functions over here mm, i will just add the wait for and you can see it takes a couple of type of parameters i will just stick with 2000 millisecond that means two second actually and i'm waiting for that so so far so good and let's run it first let's see what's happening so mm, clearing everything uh, this is the bing search right so node dot slash bing search see very fast and after two second wait please close so await page dot close and await browser also do the close let's run it again what happened come on maybe being also okay at last beautiful picture wait wait what's happening okay see the timeout is ex exceeded it is the error i don't know how to overcome yet i will search for that but this is not related with our video series it's supposed to come much faster
So what happens if I don't get the result? Okay, it worked. It waited two seconds and then got closed. So we have learned the closing thing, the wait thing in this video. In the next video, I will inspect the being and get our actual DOM element and fire some events on that and do some operation. So please go to the next video. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum.